everyone. Feel free to come on in. Glad that you're here at the greatest street festival where the greatest street of all is walking in a relationship with Jesus day by day. The churches who are out here tonight, we're glad that you've joined us. And we've got a lot of games for you to play out here tonight, prizes to win. But before you go there and play those games, I had a question I wanted to ask you. The question is this, did you know that when it comes to the game of life, there's an awful lot of people that simply do not have a clue as to how to get started? In fact, we struggle from time to time, we all do, because sometimes it feels like life has just put us through a twister and things are all up in the air and that's just the way things are, just sort of discombobulated. Or maybe we're struggling with those big questions of life, questions that just boggle your mind until so you're trying your best to wrap your mind around those things. Or maybe there are those days when life seems like one aggravation after the next and that's what you're trying to, to try to sort out. Or it may just be that somebody in your family's hurting because they've had an operation lately and they're trying to get their health back and that may be the kind of thing that you're struggling with right now. Or it may be you just feel lonely because that's exactly what happens sometimes. Sometimes it feels like we're, we're playing a game of solitaire and just by ourselves in this world. Or maybe at work you feel like you're being pushed around like a pawn on a chessboard and just being pushed from one place to the next and maybe even knocked off the board altogether if you've lost your job recently. You know, there's a lot of different kinds of problems in this world. In fact, our Lord Jesus in John's Gospel puts it this way. He said, in this world you will know trouble. Trouble comes to us all. But Jesus kept on talking and he said, in this world you will know trouble, but take heart for I have overcome the world. And when we look at Jesus, what we find in him is he's the one who helps us to have a clue about how to live this life and live it well like God wants us to live. In fact, when we look to Jesus, we see that life's not simply a trivial pursuit day in and day out. But rather, as we look to him, we find that when we try to climb out of the pit that sometimes life feels like, we can look upwards to him and find encouragement by looking upwards to the Lord day by day. And when we do, he helps us to know life that is true and abundant and real for every day. Now, here's how you get started. Here's how you get started in that abundant life. You look to the Lord Jesus and you say to him in the first place, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my sin. I'm sorry for not being the kind of person you've made me to be. And Lord, I'm yours now. I'm going to take the risk of it, the adventure of following Jesus, and I want to follow him every day. When we do that, you know what happens? God ends up with a monopoly on our lives, and he's so at work in us, and that the kind of relationship with him is far better than any hotel you can build on Boardwalk or Park Place, because God himself is alive and at work in our hearts. We thank God for that good news and wanted to share it with you tonight. Thank you for coming to the Greatest Street Festival. Have a good time as you come in here. Everything's free as you go in. The carousel rides and the train rides. And folks at that blue tent right there, they'd love to talk with you some more about our Lord Jesus.